The all too famous laser kiwi flag. Originally titled Fire the Laser, this was designed in 2015 and was a legitimate proposed flag of New Zealand. The description of the flag, I believe my design is so powerful it does not need to be discussed. The funny thing is, I've seen this so many times too. This image has literally been memed as kind of the unofficial flag of New Zealand. Let's see how long it takes for this image to pop up. Oh, there it is. It wasn't at the very top, but I knew it was there somewhere. There's literally a whole Washington Post article about the nine rejected flag designs. Some of these other ones are pretty great too. Potato Man and to Pepe. Can anyone identify this flag? Looks like this pregnancy test was probably designed in Finland. That's clearly a Finnish flag. Kind of terrified of people being obsessed with flags and how they would raise a child. Apparently Russians have been painting their trash cans with flags of unfriendly countries. Clearly they are not a fan of old colonial America because uh, that America only has 16 states. So this is a very strange European Union flag that doesn't have yellow stars. Are we sure this trash can is right set up, this could be hatred towards Indonesia or the all too powerful Monaco. The mad lads at this sporting event in real life actually had the R place Canada flag. I wonder if you can buy these things already on Amazon. I don't think so, but I guess it'd be more fun to just design it yourself. And here's actually a time lapse of the British Union Jack during the entire like four or five days of R place. You can really see as they expand, they get the aspect ratio down, they start working on Big Ben. There was some sort of uh, really horrible invasion that happened though. Oh yeah, that, I don't know when that happened some point I'm assuming when they were sleeping reverse Falkland Islands they get rid of that real quick and they go back on their job of doing the cool like British Isles in the background another New Zealand flag design this one looks like a much more serious attempt I guess well let's be real I think the laser kiwi one was a serious one as well I like that they kept the uh, four red stars that's like the only way I can really identify New Zealand versus Australia a technically legal flag of the United States of America as you might know by the defined terms of how to make a USA flag flag, they don't specify the aspect ratio or the size of the stripes. They also don't say what type of star and if they all have to be the same. And I guess they don't even mention that uh, the blue thing needs to be a square. Yeah, I guess it can be a triangle for some reason. Oh, well, wait a second. Maybe this has been redefined as of the last uh, couple decades. Proof that Kirby is from Estonia. How could Kirby be from Estonia? Okay, upside down down. Okay, you, you turn the colors into stripes. Oh! Kirby's Estonian confirmed. I can now truly see that Estonian Kirby is clearly number one. Can Kirby into Nordic? My mom sent me this gem. Happy transgender day. Uh, interesting emojis there, mom. Mom, that's the flag for the country of Bolivia. I mean, if she wants to show her patriotism for Bolivia, that's cool too, though. Happy Bolivia day. We've seen a lot of international political meetings, especially with the flags in the background, but this has got to be the most chaotic group of flags I've ever seen. Spain, the UK, Portugal, and the USA. And this was clearly from uh, a long time ago. I'm just trying to think why these four specifically would be even having a meeting. Whose idea was it to do the flags like this? This is just too chaotic. Definitely doesn't go quite as well together as the Chinese and Vietnamese flag. These literally looked like they designed it just for these meetings. Whenever their two rulers were gonna shake hands like this. I mean, I guess it shouldn't be a big surprise that China and Vietnam Vietnam, two countries that have pretty shared history and ideology, have similar flags. This one's a bit more crazy though. Ireland and India? You wouldn't really think that these work, but these work really well, and they don't share a whole, well, actually they kind of do. Did you know Ireland and Indian flags have the same colors because they were both starved by the British? Oh, you know what? Okay, yeah, I guess they do somewhat have a similar backstory. Sometimes I do think that some of these meetings are just organized to finally put the two flags together and like flex on everybody else. I'm really just trying to think why on earth would Japan and Palau be having a meeting like this? This guy took a nap and this was the British Union Jack in his dreams. I'm trying to think exactly what kind of ideology these guys would be following. It kind of looks like a cross in there, but maybe they're supposed to signify the red Welsh dragon. They finally got included with just these little pillar things. I really need to start keeping an eye on the flags in my dreams that I'd be seeing. Maybe this was also seen in a dream just in a Russian dream. Clearly as we saw before, this is how Russians identify the Union Jack. This clearly had to be one of those things that was just done from memory, I think. And it's really not easy to design the Union Jack just off the top of your head. My attempt at adding whales to the Union Jack. Finally, they're getting some representation. And it's in a really cool way. You have to kind of zoom in and yep, there they are. I can see the whales. There's so many of them. I swear, not a single day goes by where I don't hear. How are we going to add whales to the Union Jack? It's about time people finally 
started taking this seriously. I don't know why people keep thinking there's a mythical kingdom called Wales. I think they're just talking about the animals. The Japan demilitarization flag, which they should have been flying after 1945, is pretty interesting in a lot of ways because the imperial Japanese flag had these like stripe thingies. It was the rising sun, I guess, which it's unfortunate that, um, yeah, th there's a lot of bad, bad things that are associated with this. But this design has it like exploding. Um, yeah, it is definitely going nuclear. <laughs> Here's kind of the same thing except with yellow and black, and I'm really trying to figure out why there's a random flying cypress here. I can't identify any of these other chunks. Is it just supposed to be cypress that makes a cameo? Also Monaco, apparently. I would- I don't even know the shape of Monaco, to be honest. We are all human. Oh man, I almost thought this was real. I, I, now, like, zooming in, I can see what the- yeah, it was obviously edited. That would have been such a hilarious mistake. The LGBTI for Italians community would, uh, well, they'd appreciate this. Or, yeah, LGBTQI, yeah. Italian. I tried to do a variant of the Nordic flags, but don't know what type of icon to add in the middle here. Very curious. I'm thinking an old traditional Hindu icon that you can completely ruin the meaning of for the rest of the Western world. Maybe just like turn it a little bit so you don't copy it exactly though. What flag is this? I found it on my trip to the USA. Hmm. Let's not do any sort of Googling or anything at all. Let's just immediately ask what flag this is. This is a pretty extreme example, but I do see things like this on Online all the time. Like, okay, maybe you're in the Netherlands and a particular flag doesn't look like a Dutch flag. What province are you in then? Just Google that province's flag. Maybe it's a city flag. Who knows? But you could probably find out. Flag of the pH paper. I remember learning about the uh, pH scale back pff, centuries ago. Crazy that just some sort of scale with numbers to figure out how acidic or base some substance is would have its own flag. But you know, we're making flags for everything nowadays. I've never heard it referred to as this though. I've always heard it referred to his base. I just realized this is how we can figure out how based things are. There's actually a scale for it in everything. Bleach is pretty based. The coat of arms of every county in Croatia. This is so awesome about European countries. Like, we don't have nearly enough coat of arms in the USA, and if we do, no one really talks about it. They don't just, like, put them out in the streets or anything like that. Sucks, because these coat of arms were designed a very long time ago, and uh, you kind of got to keep it for historic reasons, but some of these designs could really use an update. Like, this is actually displayed on a walkway in the Netherlands. But this one is pretty cool. I wonder if you can like kind of maybe change up the design to make it a little more visually appealing This actually looks like the coat of arms itself I don't think they did any extra stuff But I would probably do a little bit of extra stuff give it like a drop shadow in the background Like they literally have the coat of arms design of Poland just on the streets and the whole history of it too Poland's gone through a lot of different iterations of this it looks like flag of Ukraine But it's a 26 million dollar USD art piece used for money laundering. I think they kind of got the design a little bit wrong. I think they made accidentally made it upside down. I guess it doesn't really matter when you're just trying to launder money. Just buy it and stash the money in a Swiss bank account. Don't care about the art. Vietnam plus Vietnam equals Vietnam 2. Honey, wake up! New Vietnamese lore just dropped. Finally getting Vietnam 2. I've been asking my whole life for this. More gold from the flag mashup bot. This is the original South Vietnamese flag from the 60s and 70s. I like to think if they came to some sort of peaceful resolution and just united, maybe they would have gone with this design. Although stars are pretty known, well, uh, not as, never mind. I was gonna say they're pretty communist, but that doesn't explain the USA. The Swiss flag, but it's italicized. Basically, if Italy took over all of Switzerland, which like a third of their population basically is Italian, so maybe this could like come to represent the Italian side of Switzerland. Yeah, it seems kind of like a race car design, interestingly enough. Flag of France, but there is a hidden image inside. I can vaguely make something out. What is that? Is that an elephant or... Oh, I think that's a uh, dinosaur. Is that when the dinosaur was always being put on flags? That's not any dinosaur. That is a damn. Stegosaurus. This meme flag was literally everywhere for like a hot minute. The thin blue line, but it's for Poland. This is to uh, to represent Poland's police force, I guess. I, uh, I'm not even sure what to say about this one. Moving on. Yeah, I'm patriotic. How could you tell? Patriotic for shrimp nation. Shrimp nation actually doesn't sound that bad. Crazy how many people just really love shrimp. I like shrimp. I don't know if I'd go to the point where I'd like fly a flag outside my house for it though. I'd probably do that with another food group like pizza. Again, more people 
people joking about this made up kingdom of Wales. Like I said, I don't understand how people expect me to believe that there is a country full of whales. I know they're smart, but I don't think they can be that organized. This is a good version of the Union Jack if you really wanted to add some mythical country though. I need to find this Wikipedia article. The flag of Argentina merged with the transgender pride flag. Where in the world could you possibly find this at? I'm trying to just like even consider, like, what would you Google to find this article in Wikipedia? Who's using this image? Oh, okay, okay. I guess that makes sense. Ah, uh, yes, a glorious flag if a union formed between Poland and Indonesia. I've only seen two iterations of this union. It's either all white or all red. I still am waiting for it to happen. Someone was asking for help in this geography quiz randomly in an airplane. That is actually really mean. I don't know what kind of geography quiz is... I don't, yeah. Who does this to people? That appears to be like 75% of the northern island of New Zealand. But man, that is just, oh, there's no way that was an American flight. Talk about top 10 hardest geography quizzes for America to answer. Wait, I'm dumb. I now am just realizing this is the flag of which country? What? You weren't even asking for the, the country itself? This is the flag? That doesn't look like a flag. Also, why are the, why, why is it ABC? Are there smaller New Zealand flags that I don't know about? There are states or regions that New Zealand has. There's 16 of them. I don't see any flags that they have. Does New Zealand not give their regions um, flags? I mean, I guess I understand why Why do like smaller things than your country need flags, but uh, I don't know. ABC Islands is a good guess though. This person's school put a very long Israel flag out. I've always said how much I love long flags. Why do we keep all of our flags in like you know, pretty normal rectangle shapes. Why not just go complete mad lads and make it like 16 by one ratio? Where did they even get this thing from? That's what I wanna know. The flag of Japan, but a few trillion years have passed. I guess their sun, our sun, isn't really around anymore. Wait a second, because we're not in total darkness, does this mean our sun is gonna go supernova? Wait, don't we know our sun's gonna go supernova and then it's gonna like uh crash back down into a dwarf? Whenever I talk about space, I just, just shouldn't. USA flag, but it's a a 4D shape in the ratio of 1 by 7 by 7 by 6. What an amazing cube. Cube flags are definitely the way of the future. I can't wait till we get to this level. They are going to be like holograms and probably in VR devices. This is the UN flag in the style of that old EU proposed flag. Everyone likes to talk about this one, but it is pretty interesting. It was a unique idea, that's for sure. But obviously when you're talking about the United Nations, you're going to have to include a lot of more nations. I wonder if I can zoom in and even see who is out here. The USA is probably somewhere there. I think I see the flag of Estonia. I see a lot of African flags, all the green, mostly Africa. There we go. There's Ireland. This is actually giving me a migraine just looking at. I see Belgium and Italy. What is all this? Who is all this? How do you even do this when the, oh my, everything is glitching out right now. I think this is how you uh, go into some sort of hypnosis state. This guy just clearly screenshotted the Netflix intro. French Polynesia plus France equals French France. Oh man, that's reminding me of uh, Europa Universalis when the game would glitch out and do something weird like this. Not exactly sure where the orange comes from. Did they take it from this uh, icon of French Polynesia? It's a very good bot. Politics aside, what do you think about this flag? Hmm, let's zoom in and look at all the intricate details. A specter is haunting Europe, the specter of communism. All the powers of old Europe have entered into it. Well, imagine I just read this whole thing for the remaining part of this video. Yeah, it's gonna be a pretty big file size. The Finnish flag, except it's been colonized by the Finnish flag. So here you can see the black and white checkered flag. That's how you know the race is over. But I guess now the cars have united under an empire and it's now colonizing other countries. Of course, the first to go is Finland. How are they going to run from cars? It's too snowy up there. They're all trapped in their saunas. Land of the rising sus. Very sussy, Japan. I'm actually really surprised that we haven't seen way more flags with Among Us on it. There should be like a flag design for every flag in the world that has a hidden sussy buck in it. The flag of Saudi Arabia, except it's actually just my toaster strudel. You could line this up with the original Saudi Arabian flag and I wouldn't even know the difference. Maybe let the toaster strudel like sit out in the sun for a little bit so it turns green. Oh, someone did it. That Nordic flag design, they couldn't figure out what type of uh, symbol to put inside this circle. They did do a Hindu symbol. That works out pretty well. And you know what? I think they probably even turned it as well. I can't really tell. It's hard to tell with this symbol if they turned it. Either way, all we say is, is Hindu. I'm, I'm pretty sure that's that's gotta be it. That's what I meant. It is a symbol of peace, right? Flag of Estonia, except it's actually just Spotify login choices. <laughs>
Uh, really, I think uh, when they talk about like people touching grass, I think they're talking about us at this point. And big thanks to by saying this, I agree to be a sussy bucka U Luxembourg lover. Drew's Argentinian fat grandpa. nuts. Alex Whitley is mega chad. Alfonso M6, a fat Angel Bastono, Bring w, back Poland Ball, XD, Jocko Bruni, Majestic Unicorn, Marco Hindera, Max Cooper, Mimo Shaky, five six ten, Philip RF, Robert E, Rye the, the Mexican seven sixty. Why am I doing this? William the Conqueror. Thank you. 